have you ever wondered what you really want to do like something that you just do for fun and for free this is called your passion and i'm here to tell you how to find it in five simple steps but before i get to that i want to talk about how i found my passion growing up i grew up in nigeria and then i spent the other half of my life in dubai back in secondary school i used to sell like lollipop to my friends so i go to like the street market i buy lollipop for like for example one dollar i come to my school i sell it for like ten dollars so i used to usually upcharge people if you're in my school i'm sorry yeah i was risky scamming you guys so i always had passion for like hustling and business back in college or university i tried different things i used to have an online shopping website i used to code i used to have a shoe business i started with my friend um i used to basically just do a lot of things i was very inquisitive i wouldn't say i was a master of any but I was definitely what people call the jack of all trades and master of none until one day i was going on a field trip and my friend just handed me his camera um his name is khalifa shout out to khalifa by the way but i just started like filming and taking pictures with this uh, Nikon D50 or something he gave me and that was how my newfound love or let's say passion for filmmaking came about. I don't think I ever returned that camera until like he really asked for it. This is something that I enjoyed doing without getting paid. I just loved the idea of like holding the camera and documenting events. That's what led me to where I am today. Here are five steps you can use to find your passion. The first step is to explore your interests. You start by thinking about the things that interest you the most. What do you enjoy doing in your free time? Or what kind of books or movies you like to read? This can help you find your identity in areas that you might be passionate about. Second step is to try new things, giving new things a chance in your life. And most of us don't really give new things chances in our life because we are scared to, you know, to leave our comfort zone. But once you have an idea of what interests you, try new things to relate to those interests. Take on a new hobby or join a club or a club. This can help you discover new areas of interest. Step 3. Pay attention to what makes you happy. As you try the new things that we spoke about earlier on, pay attention to how they make you feel. What activities give you the most excitement and joy and fulfillment? This could be hidden clues to find what you are truly passionate about. Step 4. Once you've found what brings you excitement and happy, reflect on your strengths. So think about the things that you are naturally good at. What comes easy to you? What do others compliment on you? Your passions are often aligned with your strengths. So this could be a helpful way to identify them. And lastly, experiment and be patient. Finding your passion is a journey. So be patient and be willing to experiment. Don't be afraid to try something new, even if it's outside your comfort zone. It may take time to find your passion, but the journey can be a rewarding one. Also remember, Everyone's journey in finding their passion is so unique. So don't be discouraged if it takes time. Keep exploring, trying new things, follow your interests, and you eventually find what you're truly passionate about. Thank you and see you in the next one.